Charlie Sheen was officially fired from Two and a Half Men by Warner Brothers Television on Monday. In a statement, the studio says the decision to terminate Sheen was made after careful consideration. Radar Online reports that an 11-page letter was sent to Sheen's attorney saying that Sheen engaged in dangerously self-destructive conduct and adding that the actor appears to be very ill. Sheen issued a statement to TMZ shortly after the firing in which he said, This is very good news. They continue to be in breach, like so many whales. Sheen also said he will never have to put on those silly shirts for as long as this warlock exists in the terrestrial dimension. Within hours of his firing, Sheen was at the Live Nation offices in Beverly Hills for what TMZ said was a top-secret meeting with some old friends. He was photographed on the roof of the building standing alongside one of his goddesses, Natalie Kinley, and wielding what appears to be a large machete. People magazine says Sheen noted in a message that his machete would be used to destroy anyone who messed with his family. No immediate word on whether Charlie Sheen will be replaced on Two and a Half Men or whether the show will be canceled. The Los Angeles Times reports that CBS pays about $4 million per episode for the sitcom, with about half of that going toward Sheen's salary and his compensation for reruns. Without Sheen, the Times reports, CBS would probably push to lower that price tag. What's next for Charlie Sheen? For now, Sheen's continuing his webcast, Sheen's Corner, posting what TMZ describes as a disturbing new rant last night, in which he once again lashed out against the trolls of the world, including those that made his telephone. Radar Online reports that Sheen's meeting at Live Nation Entertainment was to discuss possibly taking his act on a nationwide tour. Radar Online reports the Sheen tour would be similar to one launched by Conan O'Brien while he was waiting out his non-compete for NBC. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.